And the impact of the extreme heat is apparent on land, but what about under the sea? Well, a new study examining the behavior of great white sharks and their reaction to our warming oceans is giving us an idea of how our aquatic friends or foes are being forced to adapt. So here with us now is one of the co-authors of that study, Dr. Christopher Lowe, professor of marine biology and director of the Shark Lab at Cal State Long Beach. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. So I want to talk about that new study you co-authored, revealing that young great white sharks are moving further north along California's coast than ever before. And for people who are not familiar with the area, great white showing up in Monterey Bay, which is just a couple uh, hours south of San Francisco, is actually unprecedented. So you say this is because sharks are having a harder time finding water in their ideal temperature range. So we know that the water is getting warmer because of climate change. Our oceans are warming up. And what we're starting to see are shark nurseries further north than we've ever seen them before in California. So we attribute that to the warming of the water. Those sharks are seeking out certain environmental conditions and they're finding that in Monterey for the first time. So this is kind of new. This is something that we hadn't seen in the past or didn't think it happened before because we know the young sharks are temperature sensitive. They don't like water too cold and they certainly don't like it too warm. So is it going to be just sort of a general movement northward? And um, is this sort of inevitable? Do you think that we'll just keep tracking this over time? Yes. And, and in fact, that's what we're telling people. We're, we're, it's not just white sharks in California. We're seeing this for many other species around the world, that animals are moving towards colder climates as the planet continues to warm, which means people need to expect to find certain species of sharks in waters that they haven't seen them before. So as that progression occurs, people just have to be aware that sharks might start showing up at their beach where they haven't seen them in the past. Yeah, and I mean, speaking of that, and maybe this is somewhat of a selfish question, but over time, do you think some of our most visited and most beautiful famous beaches will just be too shark infested to actually be safe? Well, actually, that's not true. In fact, we have, we have a lot of new data that shows that sharks and people, in fact, white sharks and people are interacting with each other daily, but people just don't know it. And what we're not seeing is a big increase in bites. So what this is clearly telling us is that those sharks and humans are sharing the same environment without incident. So as long as people aren't bothering the sharks, the sharks tend to ignore people. Interesting. Well, I mean, that's good to hear. Uh, we do want to ask, so the ocean is being affected by climate change, as you said, and the impacts you're talking about. And maybe not everyone cares so much about sharks in their heart, but they should care about more potential encounters with people and certainly other marine life. Monterey Bay, for example, a major habitat for sea otters. Can you tell us how the sea otter population, for example, might be affected by this? Well, you know, the great thing is about 100 years ago, most marine mammals were hunted to the verge of extinction. But about 40 or 50 years ago, many of them were protected and their populations have been recovering, which is great news, right? We're starting to see really good population recovery. However, as the sea otter populations recovered, so is the white shark population. And what we've been seeing is a lot more mortality from white sharks, particularly juvenile white sharks, trying to feed on sea otters and realizing that's not a good meal for them. But by then, the sea otter has been mortally wounded. So in that case, we're seeing a predator affect a prey, which is probably also being influenced by their distribution because of climate change. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.